Welcome to A Super Simple Introduction to Taxes, Part 1, Tax Brackets. This is Professor Russell James. Let's begin with a quick review of the fundamentals of the U.S. tax system. Since 1913, the federal government has levied an income tax. For example, if a taxpayer earns a salary, he or she must pay a percentage of that earned income to the federal government in taxes. Taxes are also charged when a taxpayer sells an item at a profit, called a capital gain. Income from a capital gain is taxed at different rates than earned income, and so is calculated separately. Not only does the federal government charge income and capital gains taxes, but most states do as well. Taxpayers in these states pay both federal and state taxes. In some of these states, the state rules for deductions, such as charitable deductions, are identical to the federal rules. Other states reduce this deductibility or provide special incentives for particular types of expenditures. Given the variety of these rules, these lectures will not review the various rules for deductions from state income taxes, but will instead concentrate on the federal tax system. Income and capital gains taxes are not the only form of federal taxation. The federal government charges taxes on the gratuitous transfer of money from one person to another, either at death, called estate taxes, or during life, called gift taxes. A consistent feature of the federal tax systems is that the tax rates are not flat. As income increases, the income tax rate increases and the capital gains tax rate increases. As the state size increases, the estate tax rate increases. As total non-charitable gift size increases, the gift tax rate increases. These increasing tax rates mean that the tax effects from the same transaction may vary dramatically from person to person. These lectures will most commonly calculate the effects for a taxpayer at the highest federal tax brackets and ignore state taxes. But the actual results will differ depending upon the actual tax circumstances of the individual taxpayer. The 2018 federal income tax brackets for a single person serve as an example of increasing, also known as progressive, tax rates. As a taxpayer earns more money, he or she will tend to pay a larger and larger share of this earned income in federal income taxes. A marginal tax rate refers to the rate charged on the last dollar of earned income. Calculating taxes owed is not as simple as finding the marginal tax rate and multiplying it by the taxpayer's taxable income. Instead, each separate level of income is taxed at the rate indicated in the tax table. At the lowest level of taxable income, calculations only require using one rate. For example, a single taxpayer with $5,000 of taxable income in 2018 would pay taxes at the 10% rate for all of his or her taxable income. This taxpayer would owe $500 in taxes, that is $5,000 times 10%. However, beyond this lowest bracket of taxable income, calculating taxes owed becomes a bit more complicated. For example, if a single taxpayer had $10,525 of taxable income in 2018, then the first $9,525 would be taxed at 10%, and the remaining $1,000 would be taxed at 12%. It is incorrect to simply use the 12% rate for all of the taxpayer's taxable income. In other words, do not simply multiply the total $10,525 of income by 12%. The 12% rate is the marginal tax rate because it is the rate charged for the next dollar that the taxpayer earns. But the 12% rate does not apply to every dollar the taxpayer earns. As a taxpayer earns more income and moves further up the tax brackets, calculating the income taxes owed requires more steps. 
For example, a single taxpayer with $40,000 of taxable income would pay a 10% rate on the first $9,525 of income earned, a 12% rate on the next $29,175 earned. This is because $29,175 is the difference between the top of the 12% tax bracket at $38,700 and the top of the 10% tax bracket at $9,525. And finally, a 22% rate on the final $1,300 earned. $1,300 is the amount of the $40,000 taxable income above the top of the 12% tax bracket, which ends at $38,700. This has been a super simple introduction to taxes, part one, tax brackets. Join us next time for part two, tax deductions.